Hey guys, Austin Derry here. The Rife team's heading up to the Northern Channel Islands. We'll be free diving the kelp forest in search of some of California's most sought after underwater delicacies. Sea urchin or uni, rock scallops, and get up close and personal with California's most famous underwater ghost, the white sea bass. Check it out. So it's 4.42 a.m., way too early for my liking, but about to head up to Channel Islands Harbor to meet Ryder and John. Hopefully we'll kill some fish. Seen them. We were like shore diving. I saw these little <laughs> tiny, these little tiny fry. So we're gonna go and see. Maybe there's white sea bass. Maybe there's not. Either way, we're gonna be in the water. So can't complain about that. Look, Austin, Austin, look, wobbling. Harbor seal, harbor seal. Look, it's a real live harbor seal, California harbor seal. Look, that's a California sea lion, bro. The old sea lion. Yeah, I was wrong. After a short boat ride, we finally arrived at the islands, hoping and praying we'd get a glimpse of the rare and elusive white sea bass. <laughs> How long do you want to give it? Honestly, Half hour? We got in at the first kelp bed of the day. Water temp was a brisk low 60s, and visibility was about 20 to 30 feet. I find that a perfect range for hunting white sea bass. We slowly work our way through the vast network of columns, canopies, and hidden green rooms, hoping to get any sort of a glimpse of the fabled gray ghost. Without much action, we decided to head back to the boat, move up the island, and try some new spots. Later in the day, we hopped in at a new spot. The current had changed directions. I was probably in the water for about 30 seconds when I saw him. Two solid white sea bass appeared out of nowhere. Lined up, took a good shot, and game on. After letting the fish run for a few seconds, I slowly apply pressure, which usually causes them to turn in a circle, wrapping themselves up in the kelp. I finally felt that line come to a pause, so it was time to track down the fish. This point is nerve wracking, because you don't know for sure if you're gonna find a tangled up white sea bass, empty shaft, or a seven gill shark tearing bites out of the fish. Zigzag my way through the forest, chasing down that shooting line, which thankfully was only wrapped around one stalk, cut it off and began pulling the fish to the surface. Finally, right in front of my eyes was a nice white sea bass.
So I finally got the monkey off my back. This fish came in with another one. This was the smaller of the two, naturally, but I'm really happy. Got a great shot with the Rife Raider, and I'm I'm fired up. It's been a long time since I shot a white sea bass, and they are just such a pretty fish. This thing is gonna eat delicious. Woo. Woo. Excited. Woo. What you got there? Sea urchin. The bottom here. Had to grab one of these urchins off the bottom, try it out. So we're gonna crack it open, see if it's any good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I, I've always thought that uni tastes like snotty low tide. So let's see if it's good a couple minutes after coming out of the water. It's actually, it's actually good. Yeah, it's good. I'm actually surprised. It still tastes like snotty low tide, but okay. John continued hunting as me and Ryder were taking a break messing around with sea urchins. John starts screaming from across the kelp bed, so we bring the boat over to find him holding up his very first white sea bass. A nice fish in the mid 40 pound range. Austin was telling me that I can't echolocate. I'm telling you, like, I was turning my head and I could hear him croaking and be like, okay, that way. And I keep going, then I could hear him that they're swimming. And I change and head him off. Sure enough, Austin's wrong. You can echolocate as a human. Yee-hoo! Marauder 55 does it. With a couple of white sea bass in the bag, I thought, what better way to wrap this day up than head to the shallows and dive for scallops. You can find these delectable little treats by their characteristic bright orange lips. Things. They're they're super sweet. I want to know what you think of it. The whole thing, no? Yeah, no, just the white stuff. Just cut just the whole thing, and then you can scoop everything off. The bottom. Dude, that's so sweet, right? It's super sweet. Huh? Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the wiener. They say that thing helps to. It's an aphrodisiac. Yeah, we eat the ones in the... We eat those here too, they're great. No you don't, unless it's up one. No, you don't. Oh, this thing's open up super simple, huh? What? Dude, that is that absolutely was. delicious. Told you. He doesn't eat anything. Oh, no, it's like so sweet, man. That's unbelievable. Bottoms up. You guys should have fed each other. That would have been... We could have been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you got that one good. Wow. Dude, thank you for turning me on to this. this right. is what a successful day. Harvesting a bounty of scallops, uni, and white sea bass, all while diving the incredible Channel Islands kelp forest with some great people. Can't ask for much more than that. Hit that subscribe button and come along as the adventures continue.